Hey everyone, welcome back. I am back in Palmas del Mar and I have to check on some properties today. So I'll be doing that and giving you a little bit of a tour, but I thought I wanted to do to show you a little bit more of Palmas del Mar and have some fun along the way. So stay tuned. Okay, so it's been a minute since I actually went to the secret beach and I have my car now, my golf cart. Turns out that they have blocked the car entrance, or at least it was blocked now. So, hmm, <laughs> change of plans. <laughs> Let's go to other places then. That's a good thing about Palma del Mar. You have a lot of things, a lot of options. This, um, where you park your car to here, it's like a little hill. It's a workout. <laughs> it's gonna be a workout type of day. So, fun fact, what you're gonna see here is the plaza. Oh my gosh. Of course, they're cleaning. The moment that I started recording, the coffee shops like cleaning. So, the, the this part, um, <laughs> I can't even concentrate about how loud it is. My God. Anywho. They do activities and events here almost every single weekend. And then, um, oh, there's the market. I don't know if you can see that. You'll see upstairs, there's actually apartments. So people live here, kind of like being on a Spanish plaza type of thing. And we're walking, we're walking. Um, the Cofia Palmas is like literally, it's like a little forest and then they planted. Well, probably, probably that's what happened, right? It was a forest and then they planted <laughs> houses and communities. So walking here all the way down to the beach, it should be like a five minute walk or something. But fun fact, when I was in high school or in college, I can't remember, I actually um, applied to be a server in one of these restaurants. We're going to pass it by, but I don't want to put it on blast. Who knows? Probably not even the same management. But yeah, they didn't want me. <laughs> I think I was like 18 or 19. Yeah, I was in college and they did not care for me. Weird enough, now I relocate people to Palmas del Mar. There we go. How's how the world really works. So this is, has been my backyard my whole life, really. So I'm going to hit you guys with a real fact, not a fun fact, because you know, these things happen and it's the reality of living next to the ocean and that is the seaweed. And I'll show you how it becomes, right? If it's not, it's part of nature. You can't really do a lot, but especially during there's certain times of the year that this looks like this. I told you guys I was going to be realistic and if you've been on the channel long enough you know i'm pretty real so this just happens to be you know part of nature so it gets cleaned out i'm not sure when or how many times that happens but it does if not this would just be huge amount of um seaweed i swear it's usually mm, full but no one's at this beach right now so great good good for us that we have time to connect you and i it's really funny because growing up actually i had a photography class and i came here to take pictures and like seeing trees that i took pictures of and they're still here i mean yeah they're gonna be here but so this is cool i, I really like coming here because it kind of grounds me takes me back to my college days, my time growing up in Umacao, and it has really developed, right? It has really become something different. Lately, there's been so many people moving to Palmas del Mar, speci specifically um, people that are 
Act 60, crypto oriented, right? Business oriented. So there's another mentality, I feel like, even more so. It used to be more that people from Puerto Rico had a second home here. Now it's like it's literally a, a world within maybe like a town within a town. And, you know, you can really find it all here. There's like a grocery store, there's churches, there's literally like a park that you can go to. And there's just a lot of things you can do. If you like to play tennis, there's like a bunch, there's like a tennis club. If you want to hang by the pool, there's a bunch of pools. If you want a horseback ride, you can do that. If you want to play golf, there's two golf courses. If you want to eat, there's a bunch of restaurants. And just a lot of things you can do, especially if you have a family, a lot of things that you can do around this environment and this area. Okay, um, let's keep walking. Okay, let's discover a little bit more. See, the cool thing about these houses is that you can literally park your boat. Literally, on the house, the backyard of the house. So cool. I actually make it to the Palmas Academy. Palma actually has a, a school. Let me show you.